I was Tanya Yosh, your boy Rico from Street School is you. And first of all, I gotta apologize for not doing a video for so long. I've been super busy and I've been like, man, I gotta make a video now. I finally got the time. Also, I feel like this is great timing because I know a lot of y'all Georgia fans are panicking. We didn't get KJ Bolden. Then we lost a couple of commits like Peyton Woodger to Alabama. We lost Jalen Hayward to UCF. And I'm gonna let you know right now, there's no need to panic. First of all, because we have the best defensive back in this class in Ellis Robinson Jr. If I had to pick between Ellis Robinson and KJ Bolden, I'd honestly take Ellis Robinson. Now, of course, I prefer both. Like, obviously, we prefer both. And I think KJ Bolden's going to ball out. And I also think Georgia's not going to let go. They're going to be on him to the day that he signs. So you never know what happens. But Ellis Robinson Jr., I feel like because this guy committed so long ago that a lot of Georgia fans forget but this is the best defensive back in this class, arguably one of the best corners in a few years to come out of high school. I mean, he's like one of them, like that guy when it comes to shutting people down. We're going to dive into all of that, like who he's already shut down. We're going to even look at the tape where he was going against Jeremiah Smith, arguably the best receiver to come out of high school in a few years, like literally a Julio Jones clone. And Ellis Robinson Jr., pretty much like 90 something percent of whatever that practice event was shut him down now also i'm gonna go ahead and let you know now me being rico of street scores you i'm gonna talk a lot we're gonna look at this guy's on three we're gonna look at his like weight height speed a lot of the traits we're gonna talk about the georgia recruiting class the db room like how jonel guerrero is already there we already have aj harris and guys like that which is adding ellis robinson to that group we're gonna talk about all of that front to back everything we're gonna also again dive into the loss of kj bone and a lot of that stuff so if you want to just go ahead and skim through and skip ahead to the film session if you're only here for the film session i'm giving y'all a fair warning because i do like to talk a lot of just about georgia football period so just to go ahead and give y'all a fair warning before we dive into this film session we're going to talk a lot about non-film session stuff so yeah man if you're one of the ones that want to go straight to the film session again this is your disclaimer go ahead and just skim around and find the time when the film session actually starts because at this point in recording i don't even know but before we dive into this film session make sure you stiff arm that like button stiff arm the subscription button and stiff arm the bell next to that subscription button so you get notification each and every time i release these film sessions and again i don't want to just be a film session only channel so i'm working on other content for this channel as well i'm about to start updating y'all in the recruiting class start looking at the actual 2023 georgia bulldogs that's actually going to touch the field and go out there and get us that three-peat this year as well we can't just focus on the recruits and focus on 2024 and beyond we gotta also take some time to really dive into a lot of the things going on in 2023 and things like that so man make sure you stay tuned for all of that and of course stay tuned for all of the film sessions because i still haven't even done a dylan riola film session film sessions on all the offensive linemen that we have all of these guys that are already recruited let alone the guys that may potentially recruit i'm rooting for williams nowary a lot or maybe like a lj mccray maybe we're still in on aileen breeland a little bit we'll see i mean nate frazier already committed and you know aiden breeland same school just like how we got joseph jonah johnny and justin williams can we repeat the same thing with modern day over there in california we'll see um but yeah man let's go ahead and get to it let's get it And I'm wearing a green shirt so you can see right through me so I'm not blocking much information because I know some people with a lot of these videos, they still want to see me, but of course they care about the content more than anything else. Now, one thing I really do like about on three specifically is that you know even though this guy plays for img academy which is clearly in florida he's from new haven connecticut that's where he comes from that's where he was born and raised he literally transferred to img academy just so he could play against a higher level of competition and boy i cannot wait now he was already there last year so you know it's not like he's going into his senior year his first time being there like our wide receiver commit nitro tuggle who i feel like is a secret five star has all of the athletic tools to be a five star just got to work on a few things that he's a little raw at and also he played a very low level of competition over in i think he's in somewhere in st louis somewhere missouri i believe somewhere indiana he's somewhere where he just didn't play against much competition i think it was indiana actually um and that's why a lot of people don't really know nitro tuggle but if he were playing in florida with that 
that size, athleticism, speed, ability to make people miss, he'd probably be a five star at the very least, a really high four star. Um, but this is going to be his first year this upcoming season where he's playing IMG. Ellis Robinson has already been playing at IMG, already locking people up at an extremely high level of competition, one of the best high schools in the country. I mean, IMG almost recruits like his college. Like, again, this guy's from New Haven, Connecticut and transferred there, entering his junior season. Like, IMG Academy is one of those places that if you're a high school recruit, especially if you're somewhere random that doesn't have like a lot of cameras a lot of lights on that place and you're not being recruited as as high as you think you should be because you're very talented but you're just playing in a no man's land transferring to img academy is one guaranteed way to make sure that you uh that you get recruited and seen by the likes of georgia and all of the top schools out there shouts out to him and his family for making that really smart decision and man I, I love i love me some img academy georgia clearly does as well we recruit from there very well most notably guys like nolan smith and ellis robinson jr we recruit very well out of there we almost have a pipeline there so all of this complaining about buford i mean i know it sucks to not get kj bolden and several buford commits and just gwinnett county in general but um, first of all, Buford doesn't send a lot of players to the NFL just yet. Now, this is a new level of talent that they're getting in. And I'm pretty sure guys like KJ Bolden will go to the NFL and succeed at a very high level in the NFL. But there, there's no such thing as a Buford curse because most a lot of the guys we're not even trying to get. And then the guys that we didn't get, even just the history of Buford, it's not like you really missed out on much until, I guess, really this past year or two. Maybe three. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but yeah, Georgia's, I mean, back to back national champions, I believe in us. And we recruit out of state as well as anybody we recruit better out of state than some of those states recruit in state so i'm not too worried man we're not worried about getting the best guys in georgia we're worried about getting the best guys in the country so it's all cool man and again if i had to pick between ellis robinson and kj Bolden, i would choose ellis robinson but of course the dream case scenario you get both in georgia KJ Bowden even said it himself. Georgia is still on his head and talking to him pretty much every day about trying to get him to flip. And, you know, maybe some of that Florida State, you know, fun dies off, especially if they have a terrible season this upcoming season. Maybe we still have a chance. Um, but, yeah, man, I mean, this again, just go ahead and give you a fair warning. Go ahead and skip to directly to the film session if you're just one of those people that's only here for the film session. Um, we're going to talk some Georgia Bulldog before we get here. Um, also, shouts out to my boy Brooks Austin because I feel like he's the best in the business doing it, covering Georgia and stuff like that. Um, so, man, I just always want to give him a shout out because a lot of the random things I may say, I may not shout out everybody specifically for a lot of the intel information that I have, but I just want to give one big one to him because some things that I spew out were more than likely come from him anyway but as far as like Jalen Hayward and Peyton Woodard I mean those are good players but Jalen Hayward we saw as a pure slot um so it's not like you're losing a, a a big time player that you're like really like golly we needed that like this class is nothing without him same thing with Peyton Woodard I like him but um we probably would like Cam McKell and a few other guys that are already committed better than um Peyton Woodard overall in the DB group maybe not safety wise because as of right now we technically don't have any safeties committed um but I'm not too worried about that because again the guys we already have on roster and Jonel Aguero I mean you can argue and then I mean let alone Malachi Starks um if you if you I believe it was Brooke Austin that said like according to Georgia's board um and make sure you go check out his twitter check out his youtube subscribe to his patreon like i am man great inside information he said something to the extent of like georgia ranking the 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 past few top safeties to come out of high school georgia was highest on caleb downs jordan aguero will be second and kj bolden will be third now kj bolden is like still elite and they definitely really wanted him but i mean you got to remember just to prove my point we do have Jonel Aguero already here we already have a lot of dominant defensive backs here where we could arguably have the best defensive back group in college football I think we probably will I think Caleb Downs is like just a different type of guy like a generational talent that's gonna carry Alabama secondary I feel like Alabama has a lot of great secondary players but um I think George is gonna be the most complete top to bottom and Jonel Aguero I'm telling you bro you missed out on KJ Bowden this year potentially but getting Jonel Aguero last year is probably even more 
more impressive. Um, I'm not going to lie. I think if you had to choose between Jonel Aguero and KJ Bowling, you probably prefer Jonel Aguero. At least Georgia does. And when in doubt, I'm always trust Georgia. So I'm just trying to provide different angles as to why a lot of people panicking over the fact that Peyton Woods or Jalen Hayward left and we didn't get KJ Bowling as if like Georgia's doomed or something. Like we still don't have the best high school recruiting class um, this season. And maybe we're no longer able to reach for the best recruiting class of all time like texas a&m a couple years ago alabama last year maybe it won't be that like recruiting rankings wise but if we're talking about the players you're getting like dylan riola being potentially the next pat mahomes and and ellis robinson being pure lockup like the next i don't even know what to call him because he's not the craziest athletic guy he's not a super like He's 5'11", 169 pounds, and runs a 4'5", 6". Like, he's not just a super freak athlete. K.J. Bolden is a freak athlete. That's one thing that K.J. Bolden is. Ellis Robinson isn't the most just ridiculous athlete. But, I, I mean, if you're talking about just pure lockup, like a Jalen Ramsey level of lockup, Ellis Robinson, I think, really has that. I don't really comp on the Jalen Ramsey, but if we're just talking pure, I mean, I guess Revis Island, maybe. Um, because the length is crazy. I mean, it'd be five foot eleven and a half, one hundred sixty nine pounds, or six foot one seventy five now since it's been updated a little bit, and to have a six foot seven wingspan, maybe longer. That's absolutely insane, and that's where a lot of his lockup comes from. That's a lot of mental stuff. That's where he comes with an extremely high floor, and then also he's just a freak of nature when it comes to length and agility. He may not be the fastest guy, four five six, but again, that was going into his junior year. We'll see what he runs going into his senior year, and also most importantly, into in Georgia maybe he'll be faster than but I mean this is a guy looking at his on three I mean you can see it right now bro um he, rivals is the only one hating on him even then he's still a five star once once they like finish it and they actually assign stars top 22 player in their class five star best corner no matter who you ask no matter where you look the best corner ESPN has him as the number one player period like point blank period and you can argue that I you can easily make an argument for Ellis Robinson as the best player coming out in this entire 2024 class regardless of position um so maybe we missed out on the top safety um but we have the number one running back. We have the number one linebacker. We have the number one quarterback, in my opinion. I don't care what people are changing it to, with Julian Sand or whoever they might want to throw in there. Shouts out to Aaron Nolan, too, because he went to Langston. I went to Westlake, so shouts out to them. Um, I lost a lot of my friends to Langston once Langston got built. So, you know, I love it's a love-hate for Langston, man, because most of my friends from Westlake went to Langston because we got rezoned. I stayed at Westlake. Most of my friends didn't. Um, just super tangent, but still, shouts out to Langston, man. Shouts out to Aaron Nolan. I hope he balls out of the Ohio State. Even though we got a somewhat of a rivalry going because of all of the complaining with the Marvin Harrison hit, they think it's targeting. They keep bringing it up and stuff, and I don't care. I really don't. But there's a little, you know, rivalry there. But I hope Aaron Nolan goes out there and balls out because it's Atlanta first above all else. Um, but. I mean, on three has him as the third best player overall, point blank period, regardless of whatever you're talking about or looking at. Is Williams Noah Neri, who we may get. Um, I'm, not, I'm not entirely too confident in that, but we still have a really good chance. Jeremiah Smith, who Ellis Robinson locked up. We're going to take a look at that tape as well. Like the little actual highlights from the little camp that they had. We're, uh, we're going to get to that after the film session. Um, that's going to be a part of the film session. Um, and then you have Ellis Robinson Jr. Like, come on, dog. Like, arguably the best player in all of high school which is just crazy that everybody there are so many um, people on this that like everybody including rivals has his five stars that's where that five star plus comes from you're a five star on everybody's board no matter what rivals espn on 3247 it's a shame that he's the third best player arguably the best player in the country and um and rivals just hated on him so he doesn't have that little plus like a lot of these other people have but man I, i'm not worried about it bro 247 as the fourth best player overall period number two player in florida espn again feels like he's the best player in this high school recruiting class point blank period regardless of position and again i'm do i necessarily agree i'm not sure but i'm definitely not here to disagree i'm telling you ellis robinson you'll see the tape we're about to go get into it soon man he's a different type of guy matter of fact let's go ahead and get to it now we're not gonna waste any more of y'all time this is a different type of guy dog i'm telling you you're gonna see this tape and be like man i think we're pretty straight if you were to go back and look at the Jonel Aguero tape and then look at this tape you'll be like yeah we good man like we we will be straight and then the fact that Jonel Aguero is already looking like he'll probably even get a lot of meaningful minutes and almost slightly start um for Georgia oh my lord 
in his freshman year, we're in good hands. Malachi Starks and Janelle Guerrero are the future. Um, eventually, once um, he's able to um, overcome Javon Bullard, I guess next year once Javon Bullard goes into the draft, and then you'll have Ellis Robinson coming in. He, he will more than likely start as a true freshman. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into the tape, though. I'm already talking too much. Um, let's get to it. My boy Ellis Robinson, bottom of the screen, on an island. I mean, you got some safety help over there, but he's more so leaning that way. But he's playing center field at the end of the day. But Ellis Robinson doesn't need it. He doesn't need it. Look at the intelligence. Look at the IQ. Look at the acceleration again. He may not be the fastest blazer, like four, five, six speed, but that doesn't matter. The short area quickness and the length matters way more than long speed. And then also the intelligence matters way more. Look at this on a complete island. Gets his head turned around. Get that out of here. That's huge because a lot of NFL corners that some people even consider good struggle with getting their head turned around at the right time when the ball is in the air. Um, and he got his head turned around at a perfect time. And then the length is showing, bro. Look how long his arms are compared to the guy he's guarding right now the guy he's covering and again a complete island on the bottom of the screen and this guy thought he was open Jalen Hayward gets his oh my god that's the head turned around and the length all showing in one play Ooh, he was like if his arms were three inches shorter that's probably not even incomplete and he's with them stride for stride straight strap up I mean four five six speed I haven't seen it matter yet I have not seen four, five, six speed come up like, oh, man, maybe this guy isn't that fast. On tape, he looks faster than that. Look at the hips. Oh, my God. We're going to rewind it and look at the hips. I'm trying to let plays go longer, at least finish for y'all, because I know a lot of y'all prefer for plays to go through. And then I start to pause after the first run through. But did y'all see the hips right there? Did y'all see how seamless that, how smooth that was? I'm gone. Turn my hips. No wasted motion. No fumble and wiggle and like slipping and falling this guy's going from a full and look how quick the feet are look at look at the feet in the back pedal look how quick the feet are in the back pedal. look how smooth and quick that is perfect oh my god the, even just the way that like his body is structured and how he has his hips dip so low but his back is straight and then the, the way to transition your hips like that open up and to get going with the guy to be in the perfect position to come down with that interception oh my lord bro on an island once again no help at all and then looking at the receiver gets his head turned around once it's a one-on-one -on -one, ellis robinson's gonna win it the length is ridiculous dog this man can almost tie his shoes almost standing up dog this is ridiculous oh, we got ellis robinson towards the top of the screen so interesting formation very run heavy but it's clearly gonna be some type of coverage great break on the ball great iq great awareness he recognized that route immediately like as soon as the big receiver tight end whoever this is started to make his break ellis robinson's like oh wait let me go make a play on this i'm gonna allow minimal yards right here and good tackle man because <laughs> i wrestled him to the ground golly look at the length look at the arm length man that looks insane that's ridiculous um ellis robinson i'm assuming he, yeah he's the guy that's the furthest away the guy that's highest up okay this is looking like some type of zone like he's not necessarily responsible for anybody oh my god the way he just contributed in the run game and y'all already know man if you've seen my other film sessions you already know I, I may have seen like two plays two or three plays just to get a good idea of who the player is but these are genuinely authentic my first time seeing a lot of these plays so these are genuine reactions man and boy i did not expect him to explode against the run like that great form tackle to wrap him up and everything the length is crazy you're not escaping an ellis robinson tackle with that type of length man especially if he has the strength to make it and he came down there with absolutely no hesitation to make that play against the run. I love that. Cornerback tape with some run stopping in it. And again, I also want to preface like I try to do with every film session that these are junior highlights we're looking at. Oh, my God. He's out here hitting people to the point that the ball come out. Yes, sir. That's our lockup corner. That's our corner on an island that's also making plays against the run. Kirby Smart doesn't play about that, too. He doesn't want you if you, you can only cover. He wants you to be able to contribute to both. You need to be able to play against the run and the pass. We don't want to have to take you off the field on third and ones and stuff like that. Ellis Robinson Jr. is a complete corner. Again, this is why he's arguably the best player in all of high school. Oh, my God. What's going on? What just happened? What? Why was that? Why did that tackle end up being so violent? Oh, my God. But, again, I love the fact that we're seeing cornerback tape. Lockdown cornerback tape. But also some run stopping in there as well man i absolutely love it man this guy is a heat seeking missile this is why georgia's elite right here because these are you could argue this is like a generational talent oh my god the heads up play 
the whole, the heads up play did not stay locked on this guy. This is the guy you're engaged with right now. Sumo match. And first of all, I like the fact that you stopped his reach because um his release my fault because if they were trying to get this guy the ball the time is completely off but this guy is clearly just trying to basically pick off ellis robinson so with it's within five yards so i guess that's why it's legal but um this is like an aggressive pick right here but ellis robinson to, to recognize the play he's keeping his head up the whole time too he's not completely locked on to this receiver like this is his only assignment he's looking at the quarterback while he's dealing with this guy so that's like tr first of all that's trusting your athleticism because a lot of guys in these situations are like man forget what the quarterback's doing i need to stick with this receiver right now because i can get beat if i don't but he trusts his athleticism he trusts his instincts enough to be able to stay with that receiver body wise but eye wise and head and like brain wise focus on the, uh, the quarterback and then he's able to make that play right there because of that and now granted somebody else could have made that play number 23 coming down here probably would have um but the fact that ellis robinson is like nah i don't care i got two receivers this play i'm making this play regardless anything on the right side of the field is mine basically he's shutting down a third of the field basically by himself right now um, but that was a good play design, but Ellis Robinson just sniffed it out. Here we go, top of the screen, looking like some zone coverage again. So he's showing you man coverage and zone coverage here. Look at the instincts. He's watching the quarterback. Look at the way he explodes. It seems like he recognizes it before anybody else, and he's gone. He's seeking missile. Wrap up tackle once again. The tackling for him is beautiful. I don't see Ellis Robinson having many missed tackles at all at the college level. I'm so excited. Now we're back to man coverage. This is why I want to see what we doing in man. Get your head turned around. Lock up. Lock up. Quarterback had nowhere to go with that ball. Oh, my God. Running with them step for step. Actually running. He's running almost as fast as this guy, if not just as fast. Sideways almost while this guy's running full speed forward. Like straight track route and ellis robinson not even running in a straight line keeping up with them almost running sideways the fact that he's not lose i would have lost my balance and fell eight steps ago look at this look at this he's sideways running with that guy that fast then the length quarterback has nowhere to go with this shouts out to the safety of img academy too whoever that is he's been doing his thing ellis robinson off man coverage right here yeah that's that's ridiculous dog i mean i don't even know what you want me to tell you bro there's so much greatness in this play this is the stuff that had kirby smart like we need this guy this is the stuff right here that's the play that kirby smart was like man we got to do whatever we got to do to get this guy on our, on our team bro because there's so much here to break down first of all watching the quarterback watching the receiver this is again we've seen press man we've seen zone we've seen the stop against the run now we have some off man where he's playing really far off but it's clearly still man coverage the receivers mix up their routes a little bit of crossing route to confuse the defense and to get them to kind of trip over each other ellis robinson doesn't athleticism pure one thing that he is he may not be a blaze have blazing speed but boy this man is smooth as man he's so smooth again the footwork the hips Man, a lot of what people were smiling about Christian Gonzalez in this past draft about Ellis Robinson has a lot of that when it comes to changing the change of direction, agility, smooth hips, balance, quick feet, explosion. Again, I prefer short area quickness over long speed. Um, and then we've seen on tape that he already has the long speed. I don't know why he tested a four or five, six, because on tape, it looks like he's just as fast as anybody else. But the short area quickness, I prioritize that. And first of all, the IQ, again, awareness in the eyes to recognize this route. I mean, as soon as the guy starts to break on his route, it looks like Madden. Ellis Robinson's breaking with him. Like, I mean, you know how Madden it's like there's no way this you're literally you feel like as the receiver if you're running a route you're controlling the db that's covering you because they're running the route with you with you that's just how you know ai works i mean it's just no other way to program the 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 madden defense to be able to mirror you perfectly you're basically controlling the db as well at the same time that's what ellis robinson looks like i mean again look at this guy as soon as chop he dips his hips and immediately is ready to accelerate and go towards him. He's strapping them up well before the ball even gets there. And then the play did not grab him and get around him and bat it down, man. Come on, dog. This is this is pure, beautiful coverage right here. And I guess he was running safety right there, a zone. I don't know what that was, but he was he was covering the other guy at the top of the screen at first. And then he notices that that guy's open. He comes down and lays a hit on him. I don't like that hit, but it's funny. Um, I want wrap up tackles. I don't want any of those hits where you just try to push him down. But it shows that he has some strength and some explosion to him that he could even do that. All right, this is looking like some type of 
cover three maybe because he was facing the quarterback the whole time kind of he had his back to the receiver and this is him running with the guy running with the guy and once it goes out of bounds it looked like he kind of let up it looked yeah once it's out of bounds out of reach he just kind of was like yeah i'm done here so don't think that the receiver dusted him because i feel like if they would have kept running to the end zone ellis robinson would have stayed with them or ran even faster than him but ellis robinson kind of let up once he noticed like yeah this is out of bounds this is uncatchable there's nothing this receiver yeah this receiver's done he's done let, look at let that go pure strap up man it doesn't matter what you're doing off man press man straight regular man zone coverage that cover three that he did right there was pretty beautiful okay this is press man yes sir that's why he's arguably the best player in college football right now man that was beautiful man coverage again and oh my lord bro to break on the ball like that the length the bat the ball down man this is pure lockup i'm telling you man is this is this the next revis island man i don't know man let's see what's going on we got some off man coverage potentially no zone straight zone straight zone i like the aggression i love the heads up play right here it was like no matter what i'm covering somebody dog like this is okay we just got to keep track of him because this is a really interesting play right here so he's like okay this is my zone okay you got him so i guess i'll go oh, i don't know why that guy's in man coverage whatever and he found work he's like okay so this guy's open and then now i'm just gonna stick with him at this point jump ball yeah you're, you're not longer than me so uh, that nobody's catching that and if anybody does it's me uh man ellis robinson is a different type of guy now before we even get up out of here again like i talked about that tape that tape that tape just look this is ellis robinson versus jeremiah smith arguably the best wide receiver recruit to come out of high school in years i mean i love marvinson jr for ohio state but coming out of high school julio jones i mean well my fault jeremiah smith is on a different level so that's the guy that ellis robinson is going against in these plays right here and he literally now you can talk about some contact we'll see but he's strapping up i mean jeremiah smith is giving getting away with a little bit of contact too so just ignore the contact on both sides because it's going both ways love the fact that he has he's an alpha male so he's talking trash the whole time too he literally um from what i'm hearing he literally wanted to cover jeremiah smith like he literally decided that's my job i don't care what y'all are doing i'm covering jeremiah smith all day i don't care i've seen enough i think somebody else covered him he got a nice playoff on him I was like nah i'm done with that okay so that's the one jump ball jeremiah smith got on him and again this is julio jones so hey man we'll live with that every other play ellis robinson jr is, is locking them up and even a lot of plays that um that from what i'm hearing even plays that aren't included in this youtube um montage right here um he's locking up jeremiah smith look at that interception look at that look at that come on now we get it right back in blood matter of fact we do it better you do it good we do it better because all you got was a little first down catch ellison robinson jr got an interception jeremiah smith didn't get a single touchdown against ellis robinson when he was going against other dbs from what i'm hearing he was cooking them he was looking like julio jones versus high schoolers he goes against ellis robinson jr and it's quiet other than that one jump ball right there which is just like i mean you win some you lose some but at the end of the day ellis and robinson definitely won the matchup like look at that the quarterback don't even want to throw it to the best receiver clearly on the field locking them up and again ellison robinson jr is talking trash the whole time and we're gonna go ahead and skip the first down catch that jeremiah smith had i want to get straight back to the interception man yeah talk your trash okay cool oh cool okay cool and that's one thing i love too because corners you have to have a short-term memory you have to be able to forget the bad plays you had and it wasn't really a bad play it was great coverage jeremiah smith is just a generational talent sometimes you win some you lose some when it's elite players going against each other and i love the fact that ellison robinson jr soon after that makes this play like i don't care about that catch he got watch me get this interception real quick come on dog i'm telling y'all man stop sleeping on ellis robinson jr a lot of a lot of georgia recruits uh man, my fault a lot of georgia fans are forgetting about him just simply because um we missed out on all these other guys he recruited way longer ago so it, it is what it is man but i'm telling y'all and i can't wait to see his img academy tape when it, from his senior year this upcoming season i'm really excited about that because i'm telling y'all man i'm telling y'all man this guy's a little different bro i can't wait to see him in a georgia uniform locking everybody up i'm so excited man i'm so and i can't wait for him to be going against nitro tuggle our receiver who i've already done a film session on i feel like he's a very 
underrated player i feel like he's a secret five star i feel like he has all of the five star tools and athleticism he's just gonna have to go out there and prove it against img academy and you know who's gonna be covering him at IG, img academy ellison robinson jr two georgia commits gonna be going at it all season in practice so i'm really i hope we get some clips of that because i feel like that's going to be another battle of the titans where it's back and forth you win some lose some now if anything i'll probably edge towards ellis robinson winning the matchup overall but i i just refuse to believe as talented as nitro tuggle is and naturally gifted as he is that he's not going to get uh ellis robinson jr occasionally just like jeremiah jeremiah smith did for that one play out of that entire camp that we just saw um but yeah man Ellison Robinson Jr., a different type of guy. You can argue generational talent. He may not have generational speed, but if we're talking about a combination of length, IQ, awareness, the ability to play, play man, zone, press man, off man, cover three, cover two, whatever you want. He's even played like safety a couple of these plays here. He's He contributes in the run game. He, has, he makes great wrap-up tackles. <laughs> he doesn't play. The guy's getting on the ground. He hits people hard enough for them to drop the ball. Um, this guy, I mean, like, what is the weakness? If you're talking about Ellis Robinson Jr., what is the weakness? Other than the fact that as of right now, going into his junior season, he ran a 4-5-6. Going into his senior season right now, I would love to see what he ran, um, what he runs, because it's probably in the 4-4. So what is the weakness right now? If there were any weakness you can find on Ellis Robinson Jr., please let me know. Now, granted, this is a high school player, and also we're looking at his junior tape. So, of course, he's not like a perfect prospect. Of course, he can't literally go to the NFL tomorrow and lock people up. Um, but I'm telling you, man, this guy is going top 10 in the NFL draft. That's the type of talent he has. He's going to be pure lockup cornerback number one for Georgia. Only reason if he isn't cornerback number one is, is if like another guy is just that great. Like A.J. Harris, don't forget five star corner we got in last year's class. I mean, back to back five star number one corners in classes, man. We're not worried about DBs. Malachi Starks is being compared to Mika Fitzpatrick by NFL scouts right now. Um, he's probably going to be one of the highest drafted safeties in NFL history. And then again, Jonel Aguero, Georgia likes him even more than KJ Bolden. So I'm telling y'all, just don't, I'm trying to, I'm not trying to hate on KJ Bolden and Peyton Winger and all of these guys that, that flipped or went to other schools. Cause shouts out to them, man. I think they'll all be really good players. Um, but I'm just telling you that Georgia is not worried. They're, we're, we're not short staffed. We don't lack talent. Um, KJ Bolden, we would love to have him, but it's not like he makes or break a championship for us. I'm telling you right now, again, I know I've said it like three times already, but Georgia literally prefers Jonel Aguero over KJ Bolden. And to be completely objective, they prefer Caleb Downs over all of those guys. So this is not just, oh, we didn't get KJ Bolden. Now suddenly it comes out that Georgia prefers Jonel Aguero. No, Georgia admits that they also, Caleb Downs was their favorite safety prospect, at least since Malachi Starks. And you can argue, I don't know about how they feel between Malachi Starks and Caleb Downs, but Caleb Downs above all else, and he went to Alabama. So it's not like they're just saying this to just to prove a point that they don't need KJ Bowden. No, okay, we, we're good. We're, I'm telling you, we're good. I, and again, they're still fighting really hard for KJ Bowden. They're not giving up on him until he signs. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, man, that's the end of this video. Please get in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about everything discussed in this video. Let me know how you feel about this whole film session. I know I talk a lot even outside of the peer film session. That's why I try to give y'all as many disclaimers as possible to move on. Because there are a lot of people out there like me. If I were watching the film session, I want all of the background info. I want to know how this player ties into the class and stuff like that. So that's why I include it. But I also give y'all the disclaimer that go ahead and skip to, the, to where you start seeing film session stuff on the screen. So you don't have to hear all of that if you don't want to. But yeah, man, I'm also trying to work on letting the player plays go all the way through before i start to pause and rewind and stuff like that so i'm working on it i'm definitely been taking in um all of the, uh, the 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 criticism and everything that everybody's been leaving in the comment sections because man i definitely encourage it good or bad criticism let me know um and yeah man i appreciate all the support man please stiff arm that like button stiff arm the subscription button and stiff arm the bell next to that subscription button because i'm coming with so much georgia content i'm telling you i need to get to the point that it's daily and um, I, i'm probably about to finally open up some time in my day and my schedule to be able to work on daily uga content because again we have so many film sessions we still haven't done now, all those offense alignment like Nia Daniels and Daniel Calhoun and all of those guys. I mean, uh, Michael Weenie. We, we, I mean, just the offense alignment alone, let alone Dylan Raiola and a lot of the other top players, man. So I got some work to do. And I may go ahead and do a Chris Cole film session because it looks like he may potentially commit to Georgia. I think he, he announced that it will be like September 7th or 10th somewhere. Like so early September. We got to wait like a month 
for him. Um, but Williams Noeri is within less than a week. Maybe we get him. Um, so I'm gonna keep y'all updated on everything, man. I really appreciate y'all again. Let me know in the comment section how you feel about everything, how you feel about Ellison Robinson as a player, how you feel about Rico as in me as a film evaluator, all of that. Let me know all of the criticism criticism about anything, any thoughts you may have, even even if it's unrelated. If you have like a Nathaniel Frazier question for any reason, I'm trying to get to all of the comments and reply to all of them. So make sure you get it there and do that. And man, I appreciate the support. I'm gonna catch y'all later. I'm out.